Nost County Talk, back after beating Weymouth 1-0. We've had a few difficulties tonight with Zoom, so you just stuck with me and Tom, luckily for you. So, talking points from that game then, Tom. Uh, I'm going to quickly brush over it and just get straight to the point. Did Sam mean the goal? He said he did. Slayers yeah, team, he said that. he did. Now, if he's meant that goal, Puskas Award. <laughs> I'm telling you, no. Come in after uh, playing many games and do that. I, I highly doubted it, but there was there was five percent of me that thought, you know what? No, nah, he could he could have meant that. He said he meant it. There's no way he meant that. That's the tightest angle I've ever seen. <laughs> he's thinking it's the back post. He's not meant that. No, no, it's a, it's a fair point. It's a fair um, point. Yeah, a very good goal, and I got to give credit to him because I wanted Knowles to play over him. I had no problem with him playing, but I thought no. Knowles deserved it. Um, I thought he played really well though today. Yeah, I thought he, he was he his attacking intent was really good. I thought, yeah, threatening. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't like him necessarily on the wing because you look at him and you think, "Oh, big target man." Actually, he's got some pace behind him and he can dribble a ball, as we saw yeah. weeks ago when he did that nutmeg. So yeah, he can, he can seem to amount such a such a huge amount of power from nothing as well on a shot. Like he can literally just pick up the ball and bang. Like, yeah, it's, it's fair play to him. Yeah, so I, yeah, I think you know, in a game like that, I think you've got to take a couple more risks with Ardley. I'm I'm a big fan of Ardley, and, and people watching the channel will know that we've actually never slated him on the channel ever. No, we like him, but the one thing it's probably the only thing that really really gets to me with him is I don't think he's he doesn't rotate enough for me when there's opportunities to. For example, Doyle wasn't great today, was he? Mm. I don't mm, think he, 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 he did that yeah. pass that could have led to the equaliser, gave the ball away. Yeah. In a game like yeah. this, for me, and it's easy to say after the game, if he plays Matty Wolf, um, I don't think it changes the outcome of the game. I don't think it, swapping Doyle for Wolf loses as the game. Or I just think no. there's, there's a few opportunities where he just needs to let the fringe players in because it is about morale overall for the squad as well, isn't it? hundred percent, yeah. No, I I agree. I agree with, with uh, what you're saying. I do feel like it, it's going to get to a point in the season, especially for players like Wolf and Knowles, where they're on loan, and I'm sure their parent clubs will want them to be getting you know real game time. I mean, it's it's fair enough saying that you can see improvements in training, mm. but if we're not going to see it sort of on the pitch in a game, it doesn't really mean much, does it? And it doesn't mean much to the parent club either. So well, they, they, I think yeah. I think we are going to see them soon. But I do feel like I agree with what you're saying. And today was a perfect opportunity for, for players, more so Wolf than Knowles, maybe, to come in. Yeah. I mean, it's all well improving in training. I know we've not played games, but we've still been training since all, like August, well, maybe September. How much improvement can you do before? It must have been dreadful when they turned up, if they improved this mm. much. Like, But again, I can't argue because we've won one nil and kept a clean sheet. So yeah, what, yeah. What, are, what are we? We're just fans. What are we to say? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, we only see what's on the pitch, don't we? Yeah, I mean, we've gone to Weymouth, who conceded a hell of a lot of goals at home, but they also score a lot of goals at home, and we've not conceded. So, what are we? We're just two idiots talking about the team, aren't we? So, um, yeah. Speak for yourself. Sorry. Uh, yeah, so Richard Bull on Twitter actually messaged us just before this saying um, that Charlie Slater has, has asked the question if not are a great team or just a, a very good team at this level. I've answered that's a tough one. I'll let you go with that. Um, I, I think we've got the quality, we've got the depth, we've got everything. It's just it's difficult because it, it's just about finding your best eleven. Yeah. And I don't think that we're ever going to have a best eleven because a you've got um, players that will be stronger playing in different formations, su- such as Miller. Like Miller mm. can play left back, but he's, he's, he's a winger. Like a player like him is always going to be rotated in and out of the squad. But a pl- players that are like just one position and you can't really play them out of position, they're obviously going to struggle. But when you when you look across that squad, you know, like you've got big names like Wharton, Ine Effion, goals. You know, like th- th- there's borderline thirty goals a season if they're playing all season. Mm. You've got Enzio, you've got Carl Roberts, albeit he's, he's not fit at the moment, but you know he's going to be back soon. Ruben Rodriguez, Jimmy Knowles. Eli Sam, you know, the list goes on. And then you look at our defence. He's our player of the month, uh, player of the season so far, sorry. Kelly Evans, you've got Brinley. You've now got Miller, obviously. There's just so much depth and quality. We do have a fantastic squad, but it's just about all sort of pulling on the same page. And then, 
like you said as well before, teams are more than happy to just sit off us now and, and get a point. I think we, we both agree on that. P- teams are just happy to pick up a point off Knox because you know the, the threat that we do we do have. So anyone can set up and play defensive. Anyone. You know, if, you know, and, if Weymouth don't play defensively against Knox today, it's it's three or four nil. So not maybe yeah, three or four yeah. one because they created a couple. In of- saying that though, we were lucky not to concede. They did have some good chances. Slocum was on his A game today, so luckily we didn't. But yeah, yeah, if they were if they had a little bit more open, it did look like they were sort of playing uh, five at the back. The wingers were dropping all right back, so they were playing like a three at the back and mm. deep wingers. I thought so. I mean, difficult I, to break a team down. Like that. Yeah, I get a lot of people saying, "If we want to win the league, we need to be winning those games two or three 0 They they've actually strengthened their squad quite a lot. Um, yeah. not in the striking positions but they have strength in their squad and it shows they beat Hartlepool the other day 1-0 and we didn't yeah. beat Hartlepool so they're not they're not a bad squad a lot of people are saying we should have batted them because just they're just their Weymouth aren't they um, yeah. we went for 2-3-0 and three nil, but I went on the basis of 2-3-0 and three nil just because of, of how we finished the Solihull game not because I thought they were Weymouth I predicted 2 or 3 nils against bigger teams than them but yeah, um, yeah. I just I don't know I feel like I've got the same feeling. I did say this to you during the game. I've got the same feeling that we're, we're clicking now. We're, we're moving up the gears, just like we did against Eastley when the season ended last time, which is not a not a great thing. Um, but I, I don't think the season will end, to be fair. I, I've got a good feeling about this. Yeah. No, I, I think we, we've discussed it as well. Like Games haven't been postponed now for... For, is it three three rounds now? Three rounds, three rounds yeah. of games. So, well, due to COVID anyway, I know Solihull had a waterlog pitch today, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, and Kings Lynn the week before. So that, that gives you a little bit of hope that if there's no direct postponements now, and, you know, if you look at the rate of COVID, it is, it is slowly de- decreasing in terms of um, infection rate and genuine uh, infections. So on that basis... If it is to get cancelled now or postponed or whatever, it just seems a bit daft that they've done it now and not when it was at the peak, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's obviously <laughs> about the grants and we don't know all about that. I, I just... Oh, yeah. yeah. We usually complain about the nationally dragging things on. I think in that situation here, it's better if it gets dragged on because the longer it gets dragged on, the lower the rates are going to be, the more games are going to be played, the more chance we've got. It's very far off. We're getting fans and grounds. But um, at the minute, with what's going on, I'm just enjoying watching watching the games and making the most of them. Um, yeah, yeah. I think this lockdown, it, I don't know about you or everyone else, but I, I'm finding it a lot harder than the other two. Definitely. Just that, like, you're just sort of losing hope with some things. Like, it's like the third time we've been in lockdown. It can, you, can, you can get a bit down sometimes. It's like football is the only really thing that gets you through, something to look forward to in the week. Do you know what I mean? So, well, well, before, before these lockdowns it's... happened, back in September, uh, back in October and start of November, we were, we were watching the games together, filming. Yeah, the- oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, so it's uh, it is tricky, but I just feel like Touchwood now we're on we're on the, the downward trajectory of everything, and we're just I don't know. I feel like nationally just has to hold on. But back to the game, um, momentum now, three clean sheets in a row. Two, you two know, very, you know what as well. You look at you look at the last three games we've played as well. Played Torquay, top of the league, winning everything. Barely had a chance. Solihull, who. Them. We've got a great defensive record and we scored two against. And now we've obviously beat Weymouth, who, you know, they're not the best club in the league by any stretch of the imagination. But to gain seven points, going into those three games, if you'd have said we're going to pick seven points up, you'd, you'd snatch someone's hands off. Because Torquay, yeah, you're picking up a point. Solihull, Good it team. was looking like a, a dreary nil nil again, wasn't it? But we scored two and we get the three points. So I think, with, like you said, it's starting to click a little bit now. We're, we're 15, 16 games in. We just need to pull that momentum across the rest of the season if it does continue. What I like about these three, they're very different games. Torquay, we actually go in. We're going to be favourites against anyone in the league, but now we're playing top of the league. And actually, a lot of people thinking Torquay might get the win. Hmm. Solihull, we're going in, it's very even. They're a good team, we're a good team. We're about to really slog it out. And Weymouth, yeah. we've gone in as clear favourites, dominating the game from the first first minute. And their, their commentary, I don't think, was very good. Um, at one point... It was 15 minutes into the game and their commentator said, Knots are getting frustrated here. Actually, no, Knots weren't getting frustrated. They were just playing their game. And at one point, yeah. our back four was on the halfway line and we were completely dominant. And 
if the mm. crosses had been a bit better by Enzio or the attacking movement had been better, we're two, three up by half time and we're laughing. Yeah, yeah. But it's, it's, yeah, it's interesting to see because we don't we don't seem to as of lately anyway seem to come out the blocks firing. I don't think. Obviously, yeah. we play we play decent football. I'm not not denying that. Like there's passages to play today where we're playing really fast passing football and we're linking up really well. And it's it was you know it's it's good to see Knott's doing that. But we need to start making it count and getting the goals early. You know, start sort of shutting the game out a little yeah. bit. Like I said in the instant reaction, get that two goal cushion just yeah. to give you that sort of confidence in the game. To be honest, I think this team's frightening when Carl Roberts is back because yeah. actually yeah. we're seeing Enzio very storming it now. He's just missing the goals. We're seeing yeah. Rodriguez, and if you haven't seen the game, it's such a minor thing. The ball gets played forward to Rodriguez. And there's a couple of defenders and he just chests the ball down. That's all he does. But the way he chests yeah. it down, he makes he makes himself five yards from a chest chest in the ball down. Like, yeah. I've noticed with him, he does that a lot. He chests it down a lot and he makes the speed. Yeah. We're getting him coming into form. We've got Enzio. We've got Roberts hopefully back soon, which I think the club are withholding a bit of information about him. I think he's back sooner than we think. Yeah. Um, but all in all, like, it's just gelling together so well, and if we could get those front, those three behind Wooten, we're laughing absolutely. You know, just just before we we close the video up, though, I want to make a bit of a point. You know, we talk about all the selection. It must be difficult for him to to select an eleven every week. Do you mm. know? And you look at the quality we do have and the, and the depth. Like you, you think about Chicks, and obviously he's not the best player, but he's not going to be a player that wants to just sit on the bench or not be in the squad. He's come from the football league. But, yeah, so to to. To be coming to that and sitting on the bench, it must be difficult to keep players like that happy. And then you've got the rotation of players like, like the way I see it. I mean, I mean, it's it's a little bit <sighs> irrelevant to what I've just said, I suppose. But you've got Knowles and then you've got Eli Sam. If Knowles doesn't prosper, there's less pressure on on his shoulder shoulders than bringing in sort of Eli Sam from abroad. So I think Eli Sam is always going to get more of an opportunity than Knowles. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's our own player, isn't it? Yeah, well, exactly. Yeah, he's our own player, and there's more riding on yeah. it, I think, because he needs to succeed. At, I think at Nantes because it's it's a huge point for him in his career. But I just think you know, Ali has got such a difficult job choosing that starting eleven, especially like if if we're playing the four two three one, the the front the front three and one, it's it's so difficult to call, especially now with Effion as well, because he's not going to be one to sit on the bench either. He's going to be one to start games. What you're saying on that, if you look through the team for me, Slocum, easy yeah. pick. Yeah. Kelly Evans, as good as he is, not an easy pick because it's Brindley. So at the minute, you've got Sam Slocum, who is, yeah. who is definite. You've got Rawlinson, yeah. who's definite. You haven't even got Lacey, yeah. who's definite because he's been liking Turner as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't, you have Miller's not definite. Reeves and Doyle, he, he, you'll play them. Every, if there was a game every single day, he'd play them too. So they're definite. Yeah. So yeah. you've got Slocum, Rawlinson, Reeves, Doyle, and Wotton. I think. Yeah. You've got five definites yeah. in a team of 11. And the yeah. rest, Miller, Enzio, they could all rotate. So, yeah. actually, yeah, you're right. He's got such a difficult job. Yeah. Yeah. But it's when you put it into, into perspective, it is difficult to sort of A, get the result and B, keep morale high in the squad. I know it's, it's easy to say, oh, but we want players that, you know, want to fight for their place. But what, your players could be feeling like, well, I'm I'm doing really well when I play. I'm doing really well in training. Why am I not starting every game? So, yeah, it's difficult. It's difficult. It is. But that is a discussion for this win against Weymouth. As we said, sorry, got stuck with this too. We were actually having Neil back on, regular fan chat, um, but there were some issues. We, we want to welcome Neil back on the channel very soon because he's fantastic. Not fan, got so much insight. And he, it's really interesting. He, re he sees the game differently to us, doesn't he? He reads it quite yeah. differently. But, um, yeah, it's just really interesting. So, Thanks for watching. The next discussion will hopefully it goes ahead with the games. We'll, we don't do it on a weeknight, so it will be next weekend. Um, Knots have won again, three clean sheets in a row, a, a big win in difficult circumstances against the team that wanted to sit back. Let us know what you think in the comment section below.